Okay, so here we are in one of the venues where there's a live feed of the Hicks seminar uh, into the so-called filtration plant, one of the main and largest auditoriums that we have at CERN. And you see it's still more than half an hour to go and uh, all the seats are taken. And some students camped out in front of the auditorium to get a, to get a seat there. So we were a little bit lazy, we were only uh, 40 minutes before the, the seminar here and just got one or a few of the last seats. So it's a little bit like Christmas now, everyone knows what is going to happen more or less, uh, but there's still the suspense until you finally get, get to unwrap the, the gifts and the presents. So that's what's going to happen in, in half an hour to an hour and we'll see what the final results will be. And you have seen that uh, until now, until this morning, uh, we have excluded uh, essentially the full mass range up to 540 GV or so, so except exactly. these that have been carefully, carefully evaluated. So you see, the background is determined from the data. Total mass of the fermion pair 125.1 GV. <coughs> The leading pair has a mass of 86 GV, the subleading 32 GV, you see 15 reconstructed vertices in these events, which one, of which one of which has produced the 4 muon pair. Next one, 4 electrons, X to 4 electrons with invariant mass, sorry, candidate 4 electrons, not X. <laughs> It's a historic milestone today, but we are only at the beginning. Okay, so what's the uh, reaction to the most recent announcement? Well, I think it's really good news that uh, the whole framework, which uh, has been built up over decades, seems to be being verified, and that's really good news for the subject. But that doesn't mean to say it's it's finished, that that's just the beginning of all the work that needs to be done to make sure it really is the thing that we think it is, and to discover the real properties of it. So there's all the work to go yet, but it's good news. Yeah, I mean, there is a big emotion, I mean, uh, because uh, it, it's uh, it's really the, not the end, but maybe the start, but a very long journey and, uh, for CERN and for uh, many physicists who were involved right from the start on this adventure. And uh, yeah, I, I think uh, I would like also to say it's very important to understand that this is just the first step and uh, we are really uh, 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 looking forward to many more interesting uh, discoveries at the LHE, first of all, to understand better what we have discovered today, but also to, uh, to go forward because there are still a lot of uh, unanswered questions I mean, uh, in, in the universe and, and in, the, in the fundamental science and the uh, Higgs boson just uh, is one of these questions, but there are many others. So uh, we really hope that uh, we will be, we will have many more actually uh, meetings like today, where we will discover in the near future uh, uh, something even more interesting. So I think this discovery that we just saw is right up there with the discovery of the W and the Z boson. Uh, it's most likely the last p missing piece of, of the standard model. So it's, it's really a once-in-a-lifetime moment, at least for my generation of, of physicists so far. Uh, so we now have to go on to, to really confirm that it's the standard model Higgs boson that, that we are looking for. Um, and then to find out what's there beyond the standard model, because we know that the standard model cannot be the complete picture. There must be something else out there. And we continue to look for that. <coughs> 